Thank you so much. 816, the opioid epidemic continues to plague the nation. Some companies are taking on the task of recovery in a unique way. Well, they're fighting behind the scenes by simply picking up the phone. Lauren Johnson joining us, making such a difference here. Morning. Yeah, it really is. It was incredible, actually, to watch them work. I recently visited the Recovery Centers of America, who happens to be a sponsor here on Fox 29. And in one corner of the company, the phones are ringing nonstop around the clock. It's not a call center. It's a mission center. And the mission here, answer the phone in 10 seconds or less with the hope of saving a life. And those answering the phones know the struggle all too well. For Nick Portanova. Thank you for calling Recovery Centers of America. Every. My name is Nick. Call. Are you in a safe place right now? Counts. I think there's, you know, 25 to 30, you know, million Americans in, in this country that, uh, you know, suffer and, and don't realize that, like, they just kind of make one phone call. On the other end of the phone. You've called the right place. A cry out for help. They don't really know what to do. From users. If you just make that phone call, we'll take care of the rest. To loved ones. Well, the hardest types of calls is, is from a mom. Their son or, or daughter is just, just struggling or, or has struggled for years, um, and they just they don't know where to turn. Desperation and sometimes devastation. We believe in helping others. We believe that we have to stand up and fight for our, our families. Mission Center Director Michael Frisbee has firsthand experience with addiction. In his family, it was alcohol. But both my father and my grandfather passed away, and so... Um, Excuse me. Frisbee still gets choked up about it, understandably. I've seen what it's done to my family and the impact that it's had on us, um, and it doesn't have to be that way. He wants people to know there is a way out. The recovery is real. People can get better. The staff here receives about 13,000 calls every month. When our patients call us, they're in crisis. And caring comes easy for the people Frisbee hires. This is extremely important to me because I've been in some of our patients' shoes. Tina Condon is in recovery. But I know what it could be like to feel desperate and then have some hope and start the process of recovery. She says guilt and shame are the biggest barriers to picking up the phone. And I think that's what we're trying to do is tell people that it's okay. If you need help, a loved one needs help, um, the worst thing that you could do is not call. Sage advice from someone who knows the struggle all too well. No matter how many times we've heard the same story, it doesn't matter. Because saving lives matters more. There's a number 1-800-RECOVERY, so it's a simple phone call. And I know I've had a lot of people, um, I was discussing this uh, with some people, having some conflicts with a for-profit company. Um, and, and so my opinion about this when I went there and saw, if it saves one life, yeah. that's all that matters, you know? And when you hear the stories that they were sharing with me, it, it just touches your heart and it lets you know making money, not making money, saving a life is really what you matters. You just see that 13,000 calls a month. Shows that there's a need, a strong need. Yeah, and, and some days they get 300 calls a day. It could be repeat calls. Calls, but when they, they their goal and their mission 10 seconds or less because they say that's when yeah. if after the person just doesn't get someone on the phone and they, they hang up. up the phone you don't know what's gonna happen you don't want them to give up. but just yeah. even when they pick up the phone and hearing the person on the other end say I've been there I know what you're going and through. there is hope yeah so then what happens after that do they talk to them and try to get them to a center or so what they do they um, they have a lot of insurance plans that they work with and so they try to talk to people first about that because then you're covered and it won't cost you as much money and then they try to get you in a prevention center we have a couple of them in our area the Delaware Valley and then th that's the they said that the that people on the other end of the phone should know there's no promises you have to make there's no commitments you have to keep it's just make the call see how you feel when you talk and after you it's hang the up first step. it's the first it's step. also for the loved ones because a lot of times they have no one to talk to and they don't know where to go mm -hmm. I have no idea yeah, yeah. thank you Lauren. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks. I'll see you at nine o'clock I'll see you guys in a few yes <laughs> 820 who needs a host why this Oscars could be